Hi, everyone. Have you heard about Scrum but don't know where to start? My name is the Jira Guru, and I'm here to guide you through the basics of Scrum and show you how Jira can help you manage your projects more effectively. So, what exactly is Scrum? Your team has a new project to complete, and you need a process to keep everyone on track. Scrum is a framework that helps teams manage and complete complex projects by breaking them down into smaller, more manageable parts. Scrum uses a visual board like this one to track progress and manage work items. In Scrum, the team responsible for developing and delivering the product is called the Scrum Team, which comprises three primary roles, the product owner, the developers, and the Scrum Master. The product owner is responsible for managing the product backlog and ensuring that the team is working on the most valuable tasks. The developers are responsible for the actual development of the product, while the Scrum Master ensures that the Scrum framework is being followed and that the team is working effectively together. Let's move on Scrum Artifacts. Scrum has three primary artifacts, the product backlog, the sprint backlog, and the increment. The product backlog is a prioritized list of items that need to be completed for the product. It's constantly evolving and changing as new information becomes available. The sprint backlog is a plan for how the development team will accomplish the work for the current sprint. It's created during the sprint planning event and is owned by the development team. The increment is the sum of all the completed product backlog items at the end of a sprint. It should be a potentially releasable version of the product. Let's see how Scrum works. Scrum has five primary events. Sprint, Sprint Planning, Daily Scrum, Sprint Review, and Sprint Retrospective. The Sprint is a time-boxed iteration of work, typically two weeks to one month in length. It's where the development team works to create a potentially releasable increment of the product. Sprint Planning is a collaborative event where the development team and product owner work together to determine what work will be completed in the Sprint. The Daily Scrum is a short daily meeting where the development team synchronizes their work and plans for the next 24 hours. The Sprint Review is a demo and feedback session with stakeholders where the development team presents the work they completed during the Sprint. The Sprint Retrospective is a reflective meeting where the team looks back at the Sprint and identifies ways to improve. Now you can almost understand Scrum, but how can you manage all of this effectively? Jira is a powerful project management tool that helps you to plan, track, and manage your projects in an agile way. Now let's look at an example of Scrum in Jira. Let's say you're part of a development team tasked with building a new website for a client. Your team consists of a project manager, a designer, two developers, and a QA specialist. You've decided to use Scrum to manage your project. Step 1. Product Backlog. First. You create a product backlog, which is a list of all the features and requirements for the website. This includes everything from the home page design to the checkout process. You prioritize the items on the backlog based on their importance to the client and their feasibility for your team to complete. Step 2. Sprint Planning Next, you hold a sprint planning meeting. In this meeting, you select a set of items from the product backlog that you plan to work on in the upcoming sprint. You estimate how long each item will take to complete, and you assign each item to a team member based on their skills and availability. Step 3. Sprint. Now, you start your sprint. This typically lasts for two to four weeks, during which time you work on the items you've selected for that sprint. Each day, you hold a brief stand-up meeting, where each team member updates the group on their progress and any obstacles they're facing. Step 4. Sprint Review. At the end of the sprint, you hold a sprint review meeting. Here, you review the progress you've made and demonstrate the completed items to the client. You get feedback from the client and make any necessary adjustments to the product backlog. Step 5. Sprint Retrospective Finally, you hold a sprint retrospective meeting. In this meeting, you reflect on the sprint and discuss what went well and what could be improved. You make a plan for how to implement these improvements in the next sprint. And that's the basic process of Scrum. It's designed to be flexible and adaptable, so you can tweak it to fit your team's needs and the specific requirements of your project. So, that's Scrum in a nutshell, and how Jira can help you to implement it effectively. I'm Jira Guru.
Subscribe to our channel for more knowledge about Jira. Thank you for watching.